right, Derek, thanks much. Well, keeping the turf at Fifth Third Field in tip-top shape is a huge job. That's right, and it's a year-round effort. 13 ABC's Lisa Guyton joins us live to tell us more. Well, the field at the ballpark is an absolute showstopper. Even on a cloudy day like this, this gorgeous green is on full display today. The man in charge of it all says getting to this point is a mix of hard work, science, and technology. Kyle Leppelmeyer is the head turf manager at Fifth Third Field. And while this is busy season, the season really never ends. Getting the field ready starts in the fall with going into the winter with the right, right nutrients and everything we need in the soil and have to make sure we have the top dressing and aerification done. And obviously without a tremendous staff, we wouldn't even be able to come close to doing what we do. Technology comes into play on the field, including special sensors. You stick it into the ground and it reads salinity of the soil and the moisture level of the soil. And we have numbers that we like to be in the range of to know if we need to water or not water. We got a new sprayer this year for our chemicals that has rate controllers on it that basically takes all the guesswork out of how much product you're putting down, which makes it a lot more efficient, a lot more accurate, better for the environment. And when it comes to the mowing equipment, Instead of spinning like your home mower does, it's a, lack of a better term, a cylinder with several blades on it that spins this way and then there's another sharp blade under it and it almost cuts the grass like scissors. What about this special design in the turf? Some people get really crazy and do awesome, real intricate designs. I'm more of a straight line kind of guy because you can, if you get too crazy out there, you can affect the play of the grass. Most of the work is concentrated in specific areas of the field. I'd say probably 95% of our time spent around the transition areas of the field from the grass to the dirt, making sure those are perfectly smooth the way the person steps on it or a ball rolls, it's not jumping up on the players and then uh, make sure the turf's well rooted. That way they can turn wherever they have to and don't have to worry about their footing. That's our main goal is the safety of the athletes. Kyle and his crew log long hours during the season. It's not uncommon for us to work 80 hours a week on a game week and uh, I think the most with bad weather and some extra events I think the most I've ever put in is like 110. And after all the long hours at the ballpark how does his own yard look? I love mowing my grass at home it's just so relaxing I live on six acres and sit out and just cruise around on the mower and watch deer running around it's something about it's still relaxing to me even though I do it all day every day and my yard looks terrible but I like to mow it. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle has a degree in turf management from Owens Community College. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, we're going to introduce you to an employee who is celebrating her 13th season of work here at the ballpark. She's also celebrating nearly 90 years of life experience. Reporting live, Lisa Guyton, 13 ABC Action News. Oh, Lisa, thanks much.